Hey everyone, I'm Nick de la Torre with Awaken Catholic and welcome to Awaken the Word. Today we're reading from the Acts of the Apostles. But a Pharisee in the council named Gamaliel, a teacher of the law, respected by all the people, stood up and ordered the men to be put outside for a short time. Then he said to them, Fellow Israelites, consider carefully what you propose to do to these men. For some time ago, Theudas rose up, claiming to be somebody, and a number of men, about 400, joined him. But he was killed, and all who followed him were dispersed and disappeared. After him, Judas the Galilean rose up at the time of the census and got people to follow him. He also perished, and all who followed him were scattered. So in the present case, I tell you, keep away from these men and let them alone. Because if this plan or this undertaking is of human origin, it will fail. But if it is of God, you will not be able to overthrow them. In that case, you may even be found fighting against God. They were convinced by him, and when they called in the apostles, they had them flogged. Then they ordered them not to speak in the name of Jesus and let them go. As they left the council, they rejoiced that they were considered worthy to suffer dishonor for the sake of the name. And every day in the temple and at home, they did not cease to teach and proclaim Jesus as the Messiah. This is an amazing passage, and my favorite part of it is at the end, after they've been put in front of the council, after they've been flogged. So they were they were humiliated, they were made to suffer this flogging. After all of this, they come away from it and they celebrate, they rejoice the fact that they were considered worthy to suffer dishonor for the sake of the name of Jesus Christ, and blessed be his name. What an amazing thing to rejoice in that. And how tragically that is such a, a stark juxtaposition to our own unwillingness to suffer for our Lord, our own unwillingness to, to not even suffer humiliation. We don't want people to think less of us by discovering that we're a Christian. We don't want people to criticize us for saying the name of our Lord or, or committing actions, praying in the name of our Lord, if only we could be as bold as them. And then we look at the Acts of the Apostles as a book in its entirety, and we think to ourselves all these thousands of years later, why doesn't Christianity look like that anymore? Well, it starts with you and me. It starts with our own unwillingness to be in uncomfortable situations. Even the ways in which we pray are so small compared to the way that they prayed in the Acts of the Apostles. They prayed knowing that there was a God and that they had walked with him for three years, many of them. We pray trepidatiously and in small ways because we're afraid of being let down by God. My invitation to you is to be bold, be Catholic, be unabashedly Catholic. I have been Nick. This has been Awaken the Word. And before you go, I just need you to know that Jesus loves you. Peace.